In this video, we'll find the oxidation numbers for each element here in N2O5, dinitrogen pentoxide. So the red, those are the oxygens, and the blue, purple, that's the nitrogen. So we go down our list here, and here's oxygen, and it says oxygen's always minus two with a few exceptions. So each one of these oxygen is gonna have an oxidation number of minus two. We also know that when we have a neutral compound, and there's no plus or minus up here, so this is neutral, all oxidation numbers must add up to zero. So if I add all the oxidation numbers up, including for the nitrogens, I get zero. But I don't know the nitrogens yet. So let's try this. Don't know the nitrogens, but I have two, four, six, eight, ten. Minus ten is the oxidation number on the oxygen, and that should equal the neutral compound, which is zero. So plus ten and minus ten, that will give me zero. If I have a plus 10 as the oxidation number for both nitrogens, that means each one needs to be a plus 5. So now if I add up all the oxidation numbers, I have 5, 10 for the nitrogens, and 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, minus 10 for the oxygens. That'll give me 0. So to recap, we found the oxidation numbers for the ones we knew, the oxygens, and then we used that with the fact that a neutral compound will have all the numbers add up to 0, figure out the one we didn't know, the nitrogens. This is Dr. B with the oxidation numbers for N2O5, dinitrogen pentoxide. Thanks for watching.